Capricorn, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. Look how lovely you look. Amazing. Let's get into this reading. This is going to be a love reading, ladies and gents. I'm going to tune into the overall energies that you're dealing with, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the Capricorn energy here in their love lives. Let's go to a reading for the collective. To get an overview of what the Caps are dealing with during the time of this video. All right, let's tune in. Two of Swords, element of perplexity, a bit confused, uncertain. Oof. Defeat might have ensued between you and somebody here. Someone here that you worked to move on from or someone here that you've done some work to, you know, surmount some sort of emotional turmoil. First card out is the Wheel of Fortune. This is Hope. Two of, two of Wands, or rather two of Coins, and the... I'm seeing uh, the Knight of Cups. So what I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune is that somebody is wanting to be optimistic. They're most certainly in isolation. All right. They're most certainly in isolation, yet this individual here is wanting to be positive in regards to a turn of events. Hmm. Wanting to be positive in regards to a turn of events. So I do see that there's separation. There's distance between you and whomever it is that you're dealing with. Capricorn. Tell me more. The Ace of Swords, clarity, gaining clarity. Someone here is gaining clarity through this isolation. There's a change of perspective towards the better, right? Towards the better, towards, you know, movement towards solidifying, or rather moving, moving in the direction of progress. That's what I'm seeing here. This could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with, all right? Somebody here is aligning with prosperity. Well, we've got the lovers here. Someone here is aligning with love. Let's just say that. Somebody here is aligning with love, buddies. All right. Buddies. <clears throat> I said that. I think it was in a Gemini reading. And someone, someone was like, I hate. <laughs> and they were talking so indirectly. <laughs> it's like, I hate when tarot readers are, are gaslighting. And they use the word buddies as sarcastic and I literally commented i said i said this channel is not for you buddy that's what i said oh shit come on ladies and gents you're gonna bring the fire bring it what's going on here with the uh i like fire again i'm a fire son so when aries ladies and gents let's see what's going on here with the two of coins this is juggling going on Perplexity. Someone here is confused in their mind regarding a situation. All right, tell me more about this energy. Tell me more. The Empress. God damn. Okay. Well, somebody sees another, sees the potential suitor as a high valued individual. Okay, high valued individual. And what's with this juggling? What is the dilemma here? The dilemma is essentially what to communicate. Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. Somebody here is going back and forth in regards to how to approach this Empress. Who are you? Are you the Empress? Or are you the king of swords? What's going on anyway? So what I'm seeing here is that the movement is actually going to take place. Knight of Cups. What's this, what's this Knight of Cups about? What's this Knight of Cups about? <clears throat> God damn it. What am I doing? I'm on overdrive right now, ladies and gents. It's about 10 p.m. right here in Dubai. And here I am drinking a fat old cup of coffee. Hmm. Hence, I haven't gotten these readings out to you. I've just been swamped, <clears throat> overloaded, overloaded with, with uh, personal readings. Nevertheless, I'm getting it to you. So let's get, let's see what's going on. We got the Knight of Cups coming in with a hot old rod, ladies and gents. Somebody here is coming in hot. I feel like they're wanting to get, oof, the Emperor. God, are you dealing with an Aries? What's going on here? You're dealing with me, Capricorn? I'm messing with you. What I'm seeing here is that someone is taking initiative. This is a masculine energy, mind you. What we picked up on was a feminine energy, and now we got a masculine energy. So this is a wonderful dynamic. The masculine is pursuing the feminine. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. Where is Capricorn land in this situation? Is Capricorn the masculine? Is Capricorn the feminine energy? Dun -dun -dun. The moment of truth. Let's see. <clears throat> What's going on? What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? 
Let's get two more. Okay. Ooh, Knight of Cups. I mean, uh, the Page of Cups. So, Capricorn, you seem to be in the Three of Wands energy where you're waiting. You're just sitting. You're sitting, you're waiting for some sort of movements. I feel like you're kind of disappointed with whomever it is that you're dealing with. I mean, there's been some sort of loss, some sort of grievance. You've been sad about this situation. Even though you had a fallout or some sort of spill with this person, I feel that you still have hope. You still have hope, the world card. Two plus one equals three. The Trinity is what I see here. You want unity, ladies and gents. All right, it is no coincidence. Mind you, I read the numbers, right? I know you guys go by the user manual of tarot cards, but I read it. I read numerically. I see the three of wands, and I see another three here with the, with the, uh, with the twenty-one, right? Card number twenty-one. So three plus three equals six. This is the lovers. You want unity, flat out. All right. So let's not beat around the bush, ladies and gents. You want unity with whomever it is that you want. You want to want whomever it is that you want, Capricorn. Hmm. Does this individual want you? That's the question that I'm going to get to in just a moment. After I deconstruct you. So Capricorn wants unity. Okay. They're in conflict with this individual. They're not seeing eye to eye. Five of Wands. Page of Swords. You're spying on this person. You probably came over here to watch this tarot reading because you want some information on this individual. Go figure. All right. Well, that's not valuable information. Stating the obvious. What's going on here with the chariot? What's going on here with the chariot? Nine of Wands. Wanting to give this another chance? Cancer energy with the chariot here. You're stressed out about this shit, Capricorn. You're stressed out. Four of Cups, look at you. You look sad. What's going on with you? Cheer up there, buddy. Come on now. All right. Cheer up. What's going on here? Tell me more about the Chariot, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups. Hmm. I feel that you're, you're disillusioned by the lack of attention that you're receiving from this individual. Wow, look at you. The Empress. So you are, you are in that feminine energy, aren't you? You are the feminine. You're definitely not taking initiative. I'm not saying Capricorn is not the Emperor. All right, Capricorn is the Empress. And the Empress wants her lover the justice you want someone here to communicate and make things right with you don't you you want some sort of truth to be established between you and whomever it is that you've got on your mind king of swords this individual is silent lips are sealed emotionally cold emotionally distant tell me about the five of cups so demanding huh tell me about the five of cups now don't talk to your spirit guys like that. Love and light. Anyways, the hermit. Okay, the hangman. So, ladies and gents, what I'm saying here is that you are in deep isolation and you're trying to gain a different perspective of, your, of whatever it is that you're dealing with, but you're most certainly in a state of perplexity. Damn, Capricorn, you are stuck. You are stopped in your tracks when it comes to whomever it is that you're connecting with. Let's see. What's going on with Capricorn's individual? What's going on with Capricorn's individual? Let's get a few shuffles and let's get a, a layout. Get a layout, ladies and gents. What's going on here with Capricorn? Let's see. Let's get two more. What's going on with Capricorn? This person. And they're, oh, Lord, come on now. Come on. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see, buddy. What's going on here? Five of coins. This is abandonment. Eight of cups. This is moving on. And what's going on here? The world card. There was most certainly an ending. But somebody here wants a redo. Wow. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. This is progression. Someone here is stepping up to the plate. Somebody here is moving from the page to the queen. Okay, this is, right? This is growth, essentially, is what I'm seeing here. So, 
Let's look into this world. Where is the world here? This is a, a change of perspective, all right? This individual was in hermit mode. They did a lot of introspection in regards to you, Capricorn. The Queen of Wands, I mean the Queen of Cups. And they realized some feelings for you. Okay, they realized some feelings for you. Mm, after a defeat. A defeat ensued, separation took place, and through this isolation, they healed. The Temperance card of Sagittarius, they gained a different perspective, and now what? And now what? Nine of Swords, they're stressed the hell out about this. Alright, they were losing a lot of sleep. I feel they were, such as past tense. Alright, they were losing sleep over this. Some of you wish they were still losing sleep over you, I bet. You naughty creatures. They're no longer losing sleep. They're actually quite inspired to come towards you, Capricorn. Mm. They want to work on this situation. They want to feed into it. They've invested a lot of they've invested a lot of energy into this situation. Alright. And maybe not physically, but energetically. Energetically. They've had you on their mind, buddy. Let's just say that. And just because they've had you on their mind doesn't mean that it's been positive. Let's just say. Give you a fucking negative investment here. What is going on here with the Queen of Swords? I mean, Queen of Wands. Fuck, well, Three of Swords? What did I say? Holy, oh, positive investment? No. Negative investment. The individual's been daunted, losing sleep over Capricorn. I mean, you are the Empress. My goodness. I'd be bent out of shape too if I wasn't talking to you. What's going on here with the Six? They're coming back for a second chance, ladies and gents. Somebody here wants to redo, all right? They don't want this to be a missed opportunity. Four Cups. The Hierophant, god damn. You telling me that this individual wants to get serious with Capricorn? Somebody here wants to get serious with Capricorn? Is that what's going on? Hmm. I don't know, you tell me. That's a big ass yes, if you ask me. All right, but I'll let you tell me. Anyways, Capricorn, I'm gonna continue this in the extended. All right, I'm going to be deconstructing this individual's feelings towards you. I'm going to be deconstructing this individual's mind. I want to see how it is that they view you. I want to see what future they envision with you. And I want to see where this situation is going. I want to see where the trajectory of your situation is taking you guys. All right. Otherwise, I'm leaving you with this. You got somebody coming your way. Somebody here that doesn't want to miss the opportunity of romance with you. Okay? I'll see you guys next time.